Awesome oscillators. Awesome oscillators are tools that can be used to inspect charts that aren't trending. Trends and moving averages are vital when monitoring the stock's direction. Awesome oscillators are used by a technician at times that charts do not show a clear trend in any direction. Therefore, most find these awesome oscillators at their most useful when a particular security is in a vertical or horizontal trend or can't find a distinct pattern on a volatile market. The real value of these awesome oscillators comes at times when the security becomes either oversold or overbought. A chartist will use these awesome oscillators to check at what point the security they're monitoring appears to be losing the rate of upward increase and so moving towards an overbought situation. All this means is the volume of purchases has started to fall over a period of several days of trading. In turn, this results in traders starting to dispose of some of their shares. The most awesome oscillators. ROC, another awesome oscillator. This awesome oscillator assesses the margin in between the prices that are current and those that were in place some time ago. The rate of change will increase as the price trends also rise and also declines when a downward trend occurs. The magnitude of changes in price will affect the relative change in ROC. To understand the beginning of changes in the market, this awesome oscillator should have close attention paid to it. An existing trend might continue for some time after an overbought or oversold signal has changed. It's not uncommon to be able to forecast changes in prices by assessing the previous cycles of this awesome oscillator and putting it onto current market conditions. The bullish and bear market provides resistance, which in turn is what stimulates the wave like image for prices. If the ROC value is high, then a stock is deemed to be overbought. As an overbought or oversold market may continue in this fashion for a while, to wait for the market to move down or up may not be for the best. MFI with another awesome oscillator. Continuing the theme of awesome oscillators, MoneyFlow Index is an awesome oscillator that is worked out over a certain time period and ranges from 100 down to zero. It shows how money flows on increasing days as a percentage of all the down and up days. From a technical analysis perspective, the money flow can be worked out as the volume multiplied by the typical price by taking an average of the day's high plus the low plus the close price and dividing by three. Multiplied by the volume of the day gives us the money flow. These totals over a time period then provide a range over which days that the typical price is higher as a positive money flow and lower as a negative money flow. To get a money ratio, the positive money flow is divided by the negative money flow. To obtain a percentage, it can then be expressed as money flow equals 100 times positive money flow divided by positive money flow plus negative money flow. The money flow can then be used as the awesome oscillator, where any value of 80% plus is deemed as overbought and 20 or less is oversold. Finally, it's vital to make the point that money flow applies to the total dollar value of shares traded, where the buying enthusiasm is known as an up day and selling enthusiasm is a down day. Too much of an extreme in one way or the other will mean that prices are likely to reverse. RSI, another awesome oscillator. The purpose of this is to map the existing and previous weak or strong points of a security market using fairly recent trading and the closing prices. This awesome oscillator can be known as a momentum oscillator as it tracks the speed and size of movements in the price direction. This awesome oscillator will calculate this momentum as the proportion between higher and lower closes. The securities with strong changes will show a larger RSI than those that have weaker ones. Using a range of 0 to 100, this awesome oscillator will normally be used over a 14 day time period and highs are classed as 70 and lows as 30. Bottom line. It becomes noticeable that these tools start to look similar. Using them in combination will become handy for knowing when to leave or join a trade. Professional traders use these awesome oscillators, which is probably why they seem ahead of the game when buying and selling stocks.